Hey everybody, welcome back to the Coin Pusher. Today we're doing a $100,000 buy-in. They gave us 100 quarters for $100,000. $1,000 a quarter, essentially. So a little lower price than what we've normally been paying recently, but thought we'd try something a little different. Hopefully still make a nice profit. We'll see how it goes. A huge tower is moving on up pretty well. I think it's going to go any second indeed. It's about to fall over. Oh my. Oh, oh sweet. Oh, I clogged up the loot chute completely. Get that thing out. Oh, check it out. That tower was full of quarters. That's going to help out big time. Nice. Oh yeah, making it rain. Well, there's a white dice over there on top of that tower on the left, and a golden dice on the top of the tower on the right. If we can get those, we'll roll them later on. really well. That uh, big old tower on the right is definitely moving all that. Oh yeah. Get paid out big time there in the center. All kinds of $5,000 chips. And of course, lots and lots of quarters. There's uh, some $25,000 chips on the edge. There's one right there, and one over there. I guess those are the sides. But that's half of our buy-in right there. So we get those. We'll have to pay two times our buy-in to get those, though. So $200,000. But it would also come with those great big towers back there. I think it'd be worth it. I just thought we'd try a little cheaper buy-in today. And, uh, we, we lost quite a bit earlier. I'm kind of kind of feeling like I need to be careful and not lose too much more today. We'll make it up, so don't don't worry. Throughout the the next coming week or so, we'll hopefully do well. We're still looking for our extremely expensive buy-in game so we can turn in that $500 slash $1,000 chip so we can get on a game for only $500 bucks, even though it might cost like a billion or something. Uh, one of those just hasn't come up yet. But as soon as it does, you betcha we'll be getting in that one. That'll hopefully turn us back around and we'll, we'll be doing really well. I'm hopeful anyways. We didn't lose a whole lot today. We've, we've lost oh, about a day or two's profit. It's no, no big deal. We'll be just fine. Bunch of five thousand dollar chips on the edge. Those towers are touching the glass. They can't hardly go any further. They can fall backwards, I suppose. Oh yeah. Well, 
I think we ought to go ahead and pay the two times the buy-in, so $200,000. Have them reset the machine. Got to take everything that's on the red shelves and move it, as well as these towers, because these towers are touching the glass. Alrighty, let's keep it going. Uh, we paid another 200 grand, so we got $300,000 in this game. I did not buy the insurance. I didn't want to take it all the way up to a half a million dollars. That seemed like an awful lot. So, 300,000. If we lose a bunch of the red shelves, that re reevaluate them. Hopefully that doesn't happen. Hopefully we didn't make the wrong decision. This seems like a lot of money for the insurance. I guess that's only, it would have took us to uh, 400,000, so added another thousand, 100,000 in there somehow. Uh, the insurance is 100 grand. For some reason I was thinking, take us up to a half a million. It's doing pretty good so far. Oh yeah, nice. We can get them other two towers to cooperate. Specifically, uh, the dice. That's the most important thing we don't lose. And the golden one's leaning backwards a bunch. Oh, it's, it's up back there on that shelf on the right side. Let's push on the right side for a moment. See if we can't get that golden dice to push past the gutter. I don't want it falling in the gutter. Oh no, we lost the white dice. Yeah, I was, that was what I was worried about. Now we gotta pay 200 grand if we wanna get that white dice back. It probably is worth it. Yeah, it's definitely worth it. Goodness, we should have got the insurance. Well, I knew better. I mean, like I always, I must always get the insurance. Like 99.99% of the time I get the insurance. And this one time I didn't. We need it big time. What I get for trying to go cheap, I guess. Trying to save 100 grand. It cost me 100 grand now. It'd be all right. It's, it, there's other ways, you know, we, we can just pay the 200 grand and we'll get it. But that will take us up to uh, half a million. It's a big difference considering we started at 100,000. Now we're here we are setting up. Well, here soon, a half a million dollars in this game. That golden dice, I'm, I'm pushing it past the gutter. I'm trying not to jinx myself too much here. It's, uh, it is working. I just didn't want to call it out too soon. End up with, it'd take a sharp right turn straight for that gutter, probably. If I would have started bragging about it earlier. So that's why I kind of just kept it to myself. Just let it kind of drift on past there. So, it's working though. Definitely working. Still got to keep pushing on it though. Still got a ways to go. Probably go across the whole field now though. Yeah, I don't see why we couldn't.
I was just about to say maybe we ought to go ahead and pay the two times the buy-in and get that stuff off the red shelves. But maybe we better just keep going for now until we get that golden dice out of there. I could see him uh, moving that dice behind the gutters again. They are allowed to do that, unfortunately. So yeah, we probably have to try to get it out of there. I'm not sure why they didn't use mystery bags today. Maybe because uh, it was a lower buy-in game and they were trying to sell that there was dice in there for a lower buy-in game. Trying to get somebody to buy in on it. Yeah, I guess it worked for us. Oh sweet, we got the golden dice. But yeah, I think right now is a good time as any to uh, pay the two times the buy-in, get, get that stuff off the red shelves. That, we're mostly going for that white dice right there. So we'll be right back. Alrighty, let's keep it going. Oh, uh, there was some stuff that had slid down into this little lower area and was stuck. Uh, they, they did hand that to me. Quite a few $10,000 chips, if I recall. In case you were wondering about that. So we're mostly going for this white dice. And obviously I'd like to get it all cleared out of here, but... That white dice was too important to uh, leave it behind. That's worth a bunch of money. Way more than the 200000 that we paid to, to hopefully get it. So we could have saved a little bit if we would have got the insurance. But it's going to be all right. It'll be just fine. insurance does come with a deductible. You have to pay a $10,000 deductible every time you want to use it. And that's actually one of the poker chips that you got that you'd won throughout this game. Oh sweet, we just got the white dice. So that would have cost us 10 grand times whatever the multiplier was. So that would have been pretty expensive as well. I guess we only got one dice. So the most it could have cost us was 60 grand. So we would have had a, potentially up to $160,000 on it. It would have been a $40,000 savings if we would have got the insurance. But that's only if it landed on a six. If it lands on a three, then it would have cost us 30 grand. Get the reset done for 130 grand. Either way, it's still cheaper though than uh, doing the way we ended up doing it. But there have been multiple dice, and that's been a different story. Could actually cost more to get the insurance. Sweet, there it is. We got it completely cleared out. Nice. All right, let me uh, call him back here, have him place some dice in there. All righty, let's push these dice on down to that lower shelf. The white dice are going to multiply the poker chips, and the golden dice are going to multiply the gold. Come on, big push. Well, we got a four. Oh, and a one on the white on the gold dice. Uh, ones don't count. It's got to be two or better. So no golden uh, multiplier today. 
Nice. We ended up pulling five million and seventy thousand dollars out of there, and that dice is on a four, so we got to multiply it all by four. Turned it into an astounding twenty million two hundred and eighty thousand dollars. That is absolutely incredible. Not to mention, we also pulled ten ounces of gold out of there. All in all, that's not too bad for a five hundred thousand dollar buy-in not bad at all well if y'all enjoy the videos do me a favor hit that like button subscribe if you haven't subscribed and we'll see you on the next one hey y'all take care